Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the BTS series, SEA Cup number one of six over the next year. So we've got a lot more Southeast Asian Dota come your way, and it continues right now as Fnatic looks to take on TNC. They lead the best of three, one to zero. With that, I'm LD, and I actually do have Winter, but I got to get him on the line here. So let me go ahead and just give him a little ring. Hopefully he'll pick up. But yeah, in the meanwhile, for those of you who are just now joining us, Fnatic are looking very solid. I think the biggest thing that stands out for me is, well, two things really. A, Chrissy has been on fire in the off lane. And oh, hey, Winter, welcome in. And B, the other thing with Fnatic is, Net and Ohio, really just the warding game has just been so strong for them as of late. Hey, Winter, how's it going? Sorry. Yeah, man, what the hell? You you just like had a hot date or something? You know, better better things Ten to do than hang out with your buddy? I said it was Five the traffic, you know. Well, you could have left earlier to anticipate the traffic. Reserve That's what time. a responsible person would do. Yes, I'm irresponsible. Can That's all on? I wanted. All right, now you're good. <laughs> I just wanted you to admit it. <laughs> turn to ban. There you go. Um, all right, so let's see here. Pick number four, or ban number four for Fnatic. Lena's still in the pool, and again, just not a priority pick or ban for a lot of these teams. Still slipping, slipping through. I'm always amazed, Winter. The first game, it was picked in the second phase. Yes, I... and it, it slips through two ban phases and one pick phase, which even uh, then is kind of unusual. This this game is understandable. Yes. I think the bans of Fnatic are understandable Fnatic's this time around because they don't want to give... Gyro, Darkseal plus Naga or with the Wyvern. They don't want to give uh, TNC a very strong combo. So you ban those two heroes. So I think you rather ban that if you know the opponent can play the combination well rather than give uh, rather than banning the Lina out. Dazzle will be the pickup here for TNC. So they, they still respect the Naga here, Winter, as they will ban it out. Even though TNC, like there was that one fight at the end where it kind of looked bad, the song goes off, Flesh Stun doesn't quite isn't quite time right, but I still think they, they really play well around the hero overall, and it is one of their stronger picks, so I, I still like yeah. the ban from Fnatic. I mean, they, they were actually screwed, right, at that point. They are not going to land the spit off because they were BKBs on the target, so it was kind of all in. It really was. Oh, they, they just had such a bad lading stage. Everyone, everyone struggled, and... An unfortunate first blood, ancients were blocked, just nothing going their way, and, well, of course with this storm ban here, it does allow the anti-mates there. He got banned second phase last time around. Will be pick number four for TNC. You see the, the black anti-mage, one of his favorites. What this do you do? This is a very, very typical drop for Lash Rock. Lash Rock bounty. Lash Rock with Shaker. When you drop Lash Rock as a core, you always want a defensive support to bail him out so you have Oshaker Ten then they have a remaining. roaming support I actually not it might not be a support Oshaker I just realized there's a bounty so it might be off lane then bounty will be roaming and teammate will be Reserve babysitted time. by one more support in the lane that's what is more likely to happen but it's just a very typical last draft a defensive hero and an extra call when everyone is focusing on all their resources shutting down the lash the anti mage will have free farm it also kind of protects the Leshrac pick a, a bit as well. It's something Fnatic pretty mm -hmm. much always run as a, a core. We've seen Mushi well, on it every time. If the opponent wants to pick anti mid here, they have to run like Gyro mid. And that's yeah. yeah. Oh, like, that's... oh, we know we've seen Ake support Gyro yesterday. We, we've seen the aggressive tri lane Gyros here and there, but yeah, still, I, it generally, it is in the safe lane. I, but I, I don't think the support gyro worked. <laughs> they, yeah, they need lockdown for AM now, TNC, because they have Dazzle, right? Dazzle, as one of their supports, provides nothing in terms of control. Templar Assassin. TA. So they, they stick Fanatics with what they, they got in game TA. number one, this TA Darkseer duo. Mm, TA is very good against anti mage, I think, because AM doesn't do very well against TA early. TA is able to, because you dish out so much physical damage, right, and AM doesn't really doesn't really get any items to deal with until later so it seems AM like ta it seems like ta wins the matchup in terms of like who can kill whom uh mm -hmm. until anti mage gets the basher slash abyssal blade uh anti mage starts to have a chance when he completes the manta yeah manta, he definitely says he definitely has a chance at that point yeah manta uh, b fury and the blats if that ta jumps on you before you manta though you're down like half your health already and you are running the hell away let's see 
So Nat is going to play Bounty Hunter. Or maybe Chrissy will play Bounty Hunter. There's like two ways they can do this. They can do Chrissy Bounty Hunter and or they can do Chrissy Earthshaker. But I think they will do Chrissy Earthshaker and Nat Bounty Hunter. Then they will pick another lane support for anti mage. Let's see what's good here. Um huh, they've been Night Stalker. Dire team hmm. ban. Night Stalker is good versus anti mage that that I can agree to. I also sure I, I like him versus uh Bounty Hunter actually as well. Just because like yeah, it, the vision. It, yeah, it's, it's kind of like bad. Spirit Breaker. No, I think it's actually the other way around, you know, because when Night Stalker has super vision, you track the Night Stalker, you get the Night Stalker vision. Bounty Hunter actually counters Night Stalker, dude. No, but he's, he's just like Spirit Breaker. He's so good at killing and hunting the Bounty Hunter. In yeah, general. but it's different though, because Spirit Breaker, you charge and when he tracks you, he, he doesn't get the super vision, you know, but when he tracks Night Stalker, he gets the super well, vision. Well, then you, you just don't get an eggs then. <laughs> what? Then, then what do you get as a support Night Stalker? Dude. You get like an urn, uh, Five what's the, the uh, yeah, then what's your solar crest, item? you got a solar crest for your team, there's other good items, BKB, whatever dude, so let's see what Fnatic's gonna pick as their support, they have uh, the Rubik plush, Rubik is like a very common one, not many good spells to steal but just a good disable for the lane, good lane support in general, or they will want to go for maybe, hmm, CM feels a bit tempting though because their heroes use mana a lot. Lash and the Earthshaker. Fanatic with the fifth Ten pick here. Really they is all they're high pretty up. melee heavy. No, three melee they, heroes. They need, they need a support that can kill Refraction maybe. So far they have only Edict. Maybe Edict alone is enough. Reserve time. Hmm. What's, no clear, what's left? No clear good options here. Yeah. And well, I mean, Mushi ran Venno the other day. <laughs> Did not work, as I recall. I think they might actually pick Shaman though. Shaman or Ruby. Disruptor. Oh yeah, there's this guy as well. Hmm. I'm forgetting about this guy because I don't see this guy too much. Yeah, he's pretty annoying though. Because I was thinking in the sense that which type of supports will actually deal with the Dark Seer? Because as a Dark Seer, I don't really like to deal with Rubik or. Shadow Shaman sometimes because there's a lot of disable you can't really get away from them. Rubik is actually depends on the situation, but Disruptor you definitely can't get away from him if you are in trouble because of Ten the range of the gleams. Most of the time you can't escape from that. You have to, you know, when you get caught Five against Disruptor, you just remaining. need to iron shell the creeps and iron shell yourself and just go back in to fight. Hmm. So Bloodseeker, they, the last choice here. They went for really greedy pickup because I said they need. Some disable for anti mage, right? But secret is this a uh, disable is this here? Yeah. Who's the second support? Uh, isn't Noji the greedy support? Noji. Is it just a straight jungle blood seeker? You think? Yeah, I, I think it's a jungle, but yeah, it, jungle blood seeker versus but, a bounty uh, hunter, huh? Yeah, kind of. It, it's not a good idea against bounty hunter at all. If they do dual lanes, it'll be blood seeker and dark seer. That doesn't sound too scary, but it actually might might actually work. I'm not sure how effective it is, but if you iron shell, double iron shell, hmm, it actually might work. The more I think about it, the two melee heroes in the lane is the AM. Five seconds remaining. Well, Rupture does own anti mage through the yeah. first twenty minutes or so, at least. But like you say, it it does feel a bit greedy. And it is AU2000 on it, so it is a support slash jungle bloodseeker. Interesting. It's actually, you know, it. it's actually more more likely to be off lane with the Dark Seer though. I think. Because the bounty hunter might be too annoying for the bloodseeker. Because bloodseeker is very vulnerable in the first few levels. You, you actually get really low when you're jungling. So bounty hunter might be able to kill you. Once you get like maybe, uh, I think... At level four, starting from level three or level four, when you have two points in, two points in the blood, so I think you get the blood. Yeah, two points in the blood rage, then you'll you'll be fine jungling. But before that, you might actually get low enough for the bounty to kill you. All right, once again, Fnatic Winter. It's just the, the TP level one warding shenanigans. Every game, they always do this. It's uh, some different locations, but it's always the why, same exact play. Yeah, every why single is game. no one getting sentry and just they ward the same place? Like around yeah, the they, they ward here, they ward the ancients and this tree we've seen it like four times now or something. 
The net will sometimes go to the enemy jungle as well, depending on the heroes. So it's starting to feel a little predictable, and and that's where you wonder, like, does Fnatic have other other plans uh, if if this gets scouted out by their opposition? I guess we'll have to see. For now, they're they're getting away with it. So introducing the teams: TNT on the dire side, Noji the gyro, X Lucky the dazzle, S your dark seer, Raven the TA, and. AU2000, the jungle bloodseeker potentially on the side of Fnatic, Mushi, the Lushrak, Net, your bounty hunter, Extraordinaire, Ohio will be the disruptor, and Chrissy on the shaker, he has been magnificent so far in the offlane, he leaves black on his signature anti-mage. He's the uh, like best performer in the, in the BTS series. Look at this, Noji just running at three heroes, doesn't even give a hoot. Still, they're going to okay, look to fight this, though. The Fissure's cooling down. No mana right now on Chrissy. Stun will come out. It's a double bounty snag as Net will grab the top. Black gets the uncontested bottom rune, so... Already, things off to a good start here for Fnatic. Damn. The bounty hunter gets the bounty rune. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> that's not everyday thing, you know? That's, that's some next-level shit right there. <laughs> so, let's see. So, they're actually indeed going around the Bloodseeker plus Dark lane. And AM is so far at the moment alone against that. He's gonna be calling for help now since the ward scouted both of them coming down. Oh, this is it's, this is an interesting dual lane. Very annoying for anti mage. Yeah, and if uh, Bloodseeker is able to wait, he's not taking last hits. He's actually letting the Dark Seal take the last hits. Fissure huh. comes out, blocking X Lucky a bit. Does have the Tango, but he's not actually using it right away. Runs through, he's still not able to make his way out. This is going to be an incredibly unexpected first blood. And again, again and again, it is Chrissy, the playmaker for Fnatic, getting the job done. That was a very, very well placed figure. Yeah, he even forced out the Tango because he thought he could Tango through, but in fact, so he was actually, unable to. They're actually ditching the AM, yeah? Because they probably think that even with the Disruptor here, Disruptor is not going to offer too much to help the AM. I mean, Bloodseeker, it's just, they're just so tanky, and they have the sustain of the the Thirst, so I think it would be tough. Uh, Bloodseeker can damage. actually own AM in the lane one we run a lot. He just right-clicks you, and I, you get I sad. actually think the role should be swapped. You know what they're doing now? Darkseer is in the lane. I actually think Bloodseeker should be in the lane, and Darkseer jungling. Because Darkseer will actually take, have a tougher time against AM compared to Bloodseeker. Yeah, things with the Bloodseeker, like, you don't really need your mana at this stage of the game. You can just auto-attack him with the Blood Rage. You actually rather have no mana. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because he, then, then he can't deal damage to you. Yeah, I guess that's where it just comes down to the player's, like, comfort with their roles. And hey, it generally is more of that utility support hero. Not normally getting much farm priority. This AM is actually having a good time now. The Bloodseeker are... Maybe they want to jungle the Bloodseeker till level 3, then swap? I'm not sure what's the plan here though. Maybe that's the plan. Jungle Bloodseeker till level 3. Well, it's kind of like the Darkseer's jungling, because he's using the Ion Shuttle farm. But... Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> that, that's why I feel, why are they doing it this way when they can just swap around, you know? Put the Darkseer in the jungle and the Seeker on the lane. But, anyway, it's still getting the job done. Bloodseeker is still getting a lot of levels. And, but at the same time, Anti-Mage is getting a lot of farm as well. So, Shaker is not getting too much CS, but he got the first blood. And he, so far, he has a Soul Ring and looking to build into the Tranquils after this. So, they still continue to jungle the Bloodseeker, just giving him a fresh Iron Shell here and there. And Net has found a, a target to latch Man. onto, Winter, and to start stealing experience. Are, are, are you seeing this? Just look at the CS of the TA dude. Raven is having a rough time. Is this should Man. should TA be losing this hard this early to Lesh? I don't think so. I don't think he lose that hard though. Did the bounty hunter do any? He, maybe he the came mid. He ate the enemy sentry. And and maybe he, the bounty he hit hunter hit her a few did, times. Yeah. Yeah, I think the bounty hunter probably did a lot of work just now because I was paying a lot of attention in the bottom lane. Seeing how TNC actually runs this dual lane. And now they are properly dual laning. And, well, Black has already gotten 15 CS. Just that moment of hesitation making things a lot easier for him. Yeah, but now both of the, the Darks and the Abdul Seeker are both level 4. They're actually extremely high level. If you look at the levels between the heroes. Bounty is 2, almost 3. Disruptor is level 2. Shaker is level 4.5. So 
TNC has much more experience across their heroes. Just try and find mm, me. Well, overall, Graf says it's basically even, but I guess they've just hit the new levels a bit sooner. Net, uh, yeah, cracks level 3 there. Just have the Orb of Venom and Boots up, so he'll be stalking AU2000 through the jungle here. But I'm just... Denied. Keep on seeing black. Full HP, still has tangos uh, and a sal. Basically, is, is the money for the rain of health here. This is really weird though. I think the Berserker should just stay in the lane. He shouldn't just, he shouldn't jungle. He should stay in the lane. Because once he's in the lane, right, the anti mage can't really free farm. Whereas if Duxa is the only one in the lane, then the anti mage will be able to free farm. So that's... So they just keep pushing the lane and they just want to go jungle. That's probably the, the idea behind this. They push the lane out, then he goes jungle. Then he finishes the jungle camp, he comes back to the lane. He just wants to maximize the experience. The thing is that Net's just stalking him, so I, I don't <laughs> he's know not how really this, maximizing it, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know how much is this actually worth because the AM is getting... The AM is not supposed to get so much. He's, he's more farmed than the enemy gyrocopter. Uh, that is <laughs> he's up in not... CS, and Noji's got a dual lane versus the Earthshaker. Oh, he's dead. The first he can dead. Soon. The last is here. Taking some harass here from Net. Can he get any heals? Out oh, comes the silence. Not gonna matter. Does connect on two, three heroes. Now Black rotating yes. in. Glimpse back. They have the mana void. See ya! <laughs> I knew he kills. was gonna catch. I knew he was gonna catch. That's it's just a very typical anti mage mana void, right? Early game, there's a, like a, a free kill, and you just take the kill from a team. <laughs> well, what's the play now, Winter? Do you. Uh, Ohio's saying it's not ancients. So we're gonna be warding these very soon. <laughs> Fnatic, they've just been so disciplined about the, the economic yeah. aspects of the game. Well, well, thing is, they are, I think at this uh, at this phase of the team, I, I feel like warding is like their best department. And honestly. I think especially relative to other teams in SEA, where it's not always a strength. It's not even... Dyer's middle tower if you compare to the top. SEA teams, right? If you compare even to some of the Western teams, the stronger Western teams, their warding is still much more exceptional than them. Yeah, oh. top tower. Solo, kill. solo kill for Chrissy. Okay, they they got a they got a problem. Offline shaker solo killing the gyro. Just walks in and it dunks him. Yeah. That's like a typical thing, you know, when a shaker pops level six or glimpse middle lane. Uh, and they have Pulse Nova now. Raven just no match for this ledge track. Tries to run, but he emulates anyway. And while that was happening, the dire courier ends up getting sniped. I think Net was the one to. Pick it off elsewhere. It had a chainmail coming out too. From bad to worse cops, here for yeah. TNC. They are getting schooled really hard right now. And this is for yeah, it's for the actually actually for the bus seeker. Bus seeker is building into a, a blade mill. We'll be delayed a little bit here as they rotate net into the lane as well. He starts to get a bit aggressive here on the blood seeker. Trying for the silence. Not gonna connect on black though. Maybe Fnatic looking to make their move. Out comes the pings. They feel like while that silence is down, that's the time to get aggressive. Hey, you. Oh. Again, the kills? What is going on here? Did it even have Echo this time? Did you see what happened? No, but the gyro was trying to kill the Shaker. I guess so. I mean, jeez. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess that's my bad, but... Uh. Yeah, but it's not something that happens, you know? It's not... Especially when Echo's on cooldown. Like, when he has Echo, okay, that's one thing, but... That... Jeez. That's just... Man, this guy... That, they, you, that they, can't happen. That really cannot need, happen. They need to pay this guy three months salary in advance. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy was the player that I think a lot of, like, casual fans had questions about. You know, he's, he's lesser, really, lesser well, known he's than the other really, four. He's actually really, really good when he was at Rift, though. But he's been the, for me, the standout player overall so far. And and he had, like, big shoes to fill in, you know, in the offlane for this team. Because you have to justify be, being a better offlaner than Ohio. That's not easy. I, I, I'm i liking the role setup more. I feel like Ohio, just he's, he's he can be a very selfless guy anyway, so... Like, he's got that same mentality that works for support or for offlane. Uh, the, the most important, I think the most important thing, and which is so key in this role change is, you know, the synergy, you know, when they were playing with uh, Johnny plus Kachi as their support duo, you don't see this synergy between the two supports. This is like very good quality of a support duo, what they are doing in a game. In every game, actually, not in a game. <laughs> They are now stacking Ancient, so at least they... Well, they want to, but actually the ward did get dropped down again. 
So they've only got the double stack here as they make mid a move lane. on the mid lane. Maybe Raven gonna get glimpsed back. Yes, he will. Into the kinetic field elsewhere. In trouble is the anti mage potentially trying to retreat out. Raven melting to the pulse. Nova does not have a fraction for two seconds. One second. Barely gonna get oh. it off. And yeah, black black is just fine. They bring three heroes in, but they just kind of watch him farm. Full they HP. Have rupture. They need the blood seeker to have rupture for this kill to happen. And it's nine minutes in, and he still is not level six. Not Fnatic gonna smoke. Mushi, Ohio moving in together. And they they may get revealed in an awkward location here, down on the low ground. AU still not level six. He's close. He's really close, but he's not quite there. I'm not getting away. Uh, AU not versus the glimpse. Right back into Mushi's waiting arms, where he begins to melt him down with the Pulse Nova. Finds another kill. The last hit to net is getting dangerously close to that level six in the track. Let's see if Ned actually rewards this. This is one of his favorite spots. This one, placed by the Dazzler. He, he, he didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Dazzle's just kind of not really happy about his position right now. <laughs> Spends his gold on a TP. Not really happy about his position. More like nervous about his position. I mean, aren't are those the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's good. Yeah, no, maybe not. They ping him, and then he runs the other way. He may not even make it out of here. Let's see. Net's going to look to cut him if off. We'll just, him oh, if he runs back in the river. Uh, uh, no, Net wasn't expecting that. <laughs> right, right when he walks up the ramp. Bit of a mistiming. He'll just let him walk away. Oh, wait. He's not level 6. I thought he Mercy. had track. He's level 5. So, yeah. Uh, Shaker has a blink dagger, by the way. 11-minute blink for, for Chrissy here. Noji is likely and to... No, Noji is not going to be healthy. happy. Yes, he's ulti. He doesn't want to show the dagger yet. Oh, maybe he's going to show it now. Okay, he's going to buy and TP maybe. No, he's he's Wait, not he's wanting to just He's yeah. going to buy and TP bottom. He's going to buy and TP bottom. This could be a great turnaround if they dive onto black. He's just getting away with murder here. Like they try they're basically trilating this lane and he's still free farming. He just really can't punish wanna, the anti mage. He really doesn't want to show his blink yeah. He he goes into the shop and he comes back out without buying anything again. Yeah, he wants to push this lane in a bit further. Now might be the time to strike. Still not going on the anti-mage though. TNC just really unable to find the openings here to, to make a jump. And now the Blake is picked up. He will TP towards the bottom lane behind the tower. Bloodseeker getting the silence out. DJ throwing the fissure. Only connects a one to Echo Slam. What did come out before it? But the biggest amount of damage. Mushi quickly dropping to the AoE nukes. Not your ideal initiation from Chrissy. And he will end up going down. Two heroes will fall. Black just says, screw it, man. I'm out. And blinks into the jungle to start farming. His bling got cancelled by something. I didn't notice what actually cancelled it. Well, the Bloodseeker threw out a silence. Maybe it was a flat cannon shot? Probably a flat cannon shot or he just made a mistake. Because the silence was... He just casted the silence when the TP came down. So Yeah, it hadn't gone off yet. Yeah, it was definitely not the silence. It was either a flat cannon shot or he just made a mistake. Maybe it was an iron shell, but I, I don't think he was near any anything. I'm so not was, it seemed like he it seemed tower. like he didn't necessarily want to blink in though. Like he just he kinda waited and then just threw a fissure. No, he definitely wanted to blink in. He definitely wanted to blink in. Mm. Oh, black. Either way, it doesn't work out. Black he, gonna push in mid now. Oh yeah, because he dropped fissure first, right? Yeah. He, he, he wanted to fissure and then blink That's echo. Cool. Then when he after he cast fissure, the silence probably already popped. Yeah, and happened. then he realized it, so he's like, I'm going to fissure, and then he just ran in and echoed and died. Yeah, but probably. big fight for TNC. They get on the board and just net things. Well, really just fanatic things again. It's the constant warding uh, of neutrals. It's not just... fanatic things, it's net things. Well, no, Ohio was doing the same thing in the previous game. So I, I'm going to call it fanatic things now. They love these cheeky wards. You know, you know what they call him? What? Remember I told you, Dyer's they call him the camper. Is under the camper. The camper with the wards. He's the, the guy with an AWP sitting in his spawn. I don't think he has an AWP, but he probably has something else weaker. Oh, they might find Mushi or has the Glimmer Cape though, and just starts to go to work, turns it, forces them out, doesn't have the TP, but he's too healthy. They're going to bring in even more reinforcements. Mushi finding the stun follow-up. Rupture will wear off now, and he worms his way into the trees. Has the Glimmer cooling down soon. Are they even going to go for him? They know his Dyer's TP's on cooldown, so in theory they really should be, but they don't have the Thirst Vision. He stuns, oh, trying to make his way in deeper. Blew all his mana. I think he's 
They're gonna find. They him. know he's here, but they're really taking their time to get down. And now they back him. Mushi glimmer cape ready again. Track coming out. He does go for the lightning. The offensive spell cast there. Now doesn't have the mana for the glimmer cape and will end up going down. Man, that really took a while. And they do get a bounty hunter kill out of it. Still a one for one, and this is with four heroes rotating. Black pushing in the mid lane. Fnatic just this is, pushing this top. Is okay. They created a track kill. That was a track kill, so they are fine with that. And Mushi likes to get. Uh, I think we see this from him the other day. And now the bounty being annoying cancels the TP here. Yeah, he's a little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we aren't allowed to swear. He's mine. What do you think of this build for Mushi, the the Glimmer Cape? Uh, he, he likes to go stuff. Glimmer first item. You know, the, the game where they had Medusa? Do you remember that game? He, he went, he was the safe lane Lash and he went first item Glimmer Cape. You, not even with a point booster, he just went Arcane Boots Glimmer Cape. Black does get the Battle Fury, 15 minutes in. Very quick pick up here. Hon honestly, this game is like... Uh, it's not a lot of uh, spell damage, like spell apart from Gyro, but it's still a really good item when you saw him use it against the Bird Seeker Rupture. And you go on to Noji, Static Storm coming out, Mushi able to catch him, and now running in with the Pulse Nova, doing heavy damage, but Noji's fairly tanky, they panic pop him. A smoke, not with the Dog Dorn, and then Chrissy jumps in with the Blake Gecko. This time has no way to be disabled there, and we'll end up Winning the fight, 4v4 really, getting two kills for free, and Black just playing the farm game off on the other end of the map. This is all according to the script for Fnatic. I actually like his item build, uh, sorry, skill build a lot on the Earthshaker. He always never maxes uh, Fissure because he's going to get an early blink and you want more points in the Aftershock. And apparently he wants a lot more points in the Enchant Totem as well. Yeah, he did like, uh, when he was in the lane, he did like 2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, at level 7, he had 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two points, Fissure, 2 and Chan, 2 Aftershock, and 1 Ultimate. Yeah, I mean, the second point, especially in Enchant Totem, is super value. You, you double the bonus damage. It's very good. <laughs> Being able to take so many points in Enchant Totem is already a bonus, my friend. <laughs> it's luxury. This is like uh, having having a scallop or having a oyster. No, or this a is it's more like caviar, really, that he's enjoying right now. Oh, he's no, going in top trouble. lane. He's going to try to kill off the Bloodseeker oh, solo with the no. double enchant totem. Hey, you get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> DJ, a, making it easy. A, that was a truffle. That was a truffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a four step. He's got a blink. He's level 11. That was without Echo Slam. He's getting solo kills. Chrissy is just. Putting, putting TNC away at this point. So much space from an offlane Earth Shaker. <sighs> that Blood Seeker actually had uh, very little items. I re I just realized he only had a medallion and a Pearl Man Shield. That's all he had. Yeah, this game it feels like TNC are just off their game. Fnatic are not letting them do anything that they want. Yeah, the just like I talk about during the draft, they had a very... It's more like a perfect draft, you know, honestly. <laughs> what they have. They yeah. got everything they want. They get Anti-Mage and Lashrak, which are like their super comfort heroes. They've got the net bounty hunter, especially. It's, it's not about all about the comfort heroes, LD. I think it's about the lineup they built around Lashrak. is a perfect lineup to showcase how strong a Lash can be. Even though he hasn't been the one doing the most work, the Shaker, but the lineup itself is just... I mean, the Shaker, what the Shaker did is more individual play, you know, more than anything. But the lineup they have right now is just very, it's just very solid in general. Oh, the AFK anti-mage, this is the, the dream oh, is for Black. Is he gonna go? He wants to, oh. he's got the Echo ready, they may end up losing more. The smoke will break here as he runs into the tower, so he, he doesn't really go. know there's a hero there. And now the Fissure comes out, blocking Raven back. Does he go the others? He blinks and just clubs him once through the Refraction. Not the best initiation, but is stalling this a bit. As the rest of the team will rotate in. They're still sticking around here. Blink cooling down soon. Four Staff also available. Track is there. He can just Four Staff in if he wants to initiate. Still trying to find that perfect go. And maybe takes too long. Now they get the glimpse off on Noji and just patience here from Chrissy as he continues to hand on the... Not enough right now. Even through the Grave, one more auto-tech finishing the job. And still waiting for the Shaker to engage TNC. 
It's almost like they know it's coming and they just keep on sitting back, keep on biding their time, but too much time, it seems. Four step forward, Fissure, and the glimpse. We'll get X-Lock. He could have maybe gotten one more if he had chased onwards, but they do end up securing the third kill on the Dazzle Wall. Guess who's not even there? It's Black. He's off on the bottom lane. Mana Burning S. AU will arrive. Doesn't have Rupture. They can't even punish this. Fnatic just making this game easy. It doesn't matter where Black is, you know, what team he is. You always get to say Black is not even there in the fight. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't matter for the fight, but it definitely matters for the, the state of the game. Fnatic are in cruise control right now. I think they just needed to get more, you know, out of the Blood Seeker Dark Lane. They didn't get enough out of the lane. If the AM wasn't so farmed, then the situation is more like more manageable. But then again, something weird happened, which is the Earthshaker suddenly solo killing the safe lane. So that was also another thing that was a problem. So I think this was the two biggest issue that happened in the early laning phase. The off lane didn't go well, and the Shaker was like Haste. solo killing the safe laner. And that continuing to give Intel here has picked up a mech now. Moving Wait, the Shaker I'm around. He's just going to run in with a haste rune. Uh, club a creep. <laughs> then blinks on top of himself, because why Dude, not? I, I actually forgot something. Okay, never mind. back mid, and that's it. Go ahead. What'd you forget? <laughs> the mid lane lost quite badly as well. <laughs> yeah, but that's like the bounty hunter effects. So <laughs> Even if he doesn't actually come to the lane, you have to worry about it. They're going to get sandwiched by the Lash. And AM is going to be able to push the high ground. They just want to make sure they don't get, they don't TP up. They glimpse back AU while Black is just doing anti mage stage top and Fnatic with the initiation. Good echo there. But the back maybe going to turn this. They don't get off the silence, unfortunately. And Raven with a double miss uphill. Mushi finally arriving, trying to finish off Noji. Will barely. This could be next. He's low here and a tower about to drop. Doesn't even matter if they get kills at this point, but it looks like they will get a track kill on Raven as well. Trying to turn with the Deso. Doesn't have the damage. GG quickly. TNC will give up. They'll walk away with $1,000 in prize money, but they will be eliminated here from the BTS series, and it's Fnatic. Not a huge surprise, Winter, but they are into the top two now. I I saw the openings, the way they opened a the drop in the first game and this game. It's actually, you remember the game yesterday when I was talking about uh, the open with Lash plus Queen of Pain? You remember that game? Mm -hmm. Today's openings were much better. The, this game, it was uh, Lash plus Bounty Hunter, right? And... What was the first game's opening? I can't really recall. Um, uh, I, I can look at the replay, but I don't remember offhand. I was uh, I was having some some last minute setup things. So. <sighs> well, Winter yeah, Fnatic will advance here. Still, I think a, a pretty good run by TNC overall. Uh, this was not their best series, but they looked really good the other days. So, I still have hope for this team. Yeah, this team did. Uh, they did very well against me. I see they played very well. But I'm. I think we're gonna see more teams going to be getting sentries at level one. Give it to the off laner and just make sure you deal well. You you essentially waste their TP score if you do. You are able to do that. I think it's actually super super important to do it against Fnatic. If you look at at all the games they have been playing, you have to do this against them. Or you actually do another. There's another thing you can do against them as well because you know they are spending more or less one or two TP scrolls at the start. So their supports will be minus 200 gold. So you contest their lane, you, maybe you do some dual, or tr dual lane and with a roaming hero and you just put the other two lanes 1v1. So you can actually capitalize on the support spending 200 gold on the TP scroll. Well, something for them to work on in the future, but here today, TNC are eliminated. Fnatic into the grand finals of the first BTS SEA Cup. With that, he's Winter. You can follow him on Twitter, at WinterDota. Myself, at LDDota. We'll be back in an hour and a half. We've got a pretty long break here for the second and final series of the day. That match will be ideal taking on first departure. So we'll see Miracle. Maybe we see the Huskar again. Should be fun, but for now, guys, we'll have a bit of a break. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.